Hey everyone, what about here and welcome back to some more Against the Storm. I haven't played this in a little while, but I got the, what is it, the favor update. So I wanted to give it a shot. What is this? Rune settlement modifier. Once a prosperous settlement ravaged by Blightstorm. A lot of rune buildings can be found nearby. So I might want to go over here. Get some interesting boosts. The, what's the arrow here? Why is there an arrow pointing at, oh, I think, I see. It's just the path that I traveled to get here. So maybe I want to put down right here. I've barely done anything with the meta progression, which I should probably take a quick look at. Uh, because we have apparently a couple of deeds worth something. I'm glad I checked. I don't think most of this is going to get me much of anything. But it's still always worth looking. Okay, then buy upgrades. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have enough bread to get anything new. I guess I could snag this one. Uh, let's see. Monastery of the Vigilant Flame, level 1. Permanent 2% to burning duration for all types of fuels. And we can also start with stone and clay. Yeah, let's, let's start with that. I've played an amount of this game, but not, not enough to really get far on the meta progression. So let's go here and see what we get. So difficulty, settler. Yeah. <laughs> I am bad. So we can be human with two mystery groups. Or a lot of beavers, some lizards. Oh, those are vegetables. They looked like goblins. I was worried a little bit. I was like, why do I have goblins? So a group of two newcomers will just pop up. Wildfire essence. So what is the difference between these two? It seems like this group is just generally better stocks. Not by too much. I see. This one has crystallized dew. Yeah, but let's no go with these guys. I've got some em embarkation points. I don't think I need roots and eggs. So let's go for the clay and the stone, because I think I'm going to need those the most. You start with 30 goblins. Don't ask where they came from. No one knows. Good luck feeding them. Keeping them under control. <laughs> okay, so. Forest mysteries. So additional effects. Once a prosperous settlement. So we have that. We have gift of the woodlands. Very lush and rich in timber. Trees give more wood. And villagers have a chance of not consuming food during a break. Ooh, those are nice. All right, so let's take a look. There, wait, what is this? Main warehouse versus my hearth? Why? They're usually right next to each other. I'm slightly thrown off by this fact. All right, whatever. Oh, right. Before I do anything, we should pick our pick our things. So, forester's hut, forger's camp, plantation, produce berries. I think we want to do plantation. Everything else is good, but this gets me infinite food. Lumber mill gets me plank scrolls, trade goods, and can use storm water, clearance water. Oh, interesting. So we can use different water types. Oil, incense, oil, flour. I think... The cellar could be interesting. I don't know what that requires. The lumber mill is probably my best bet. Okay, skewers, biscuits, and pit pigment that might be the cookhouse might be worth it yeah let's go for the cookhouse okay so we'll need some more I don't think we have any of the other bonuses so let's set this up oh path I can't I can't afford any of the other things are you crazy I'm a po boy Okay, so now that we've got that, we've got a whole bunch of glades nearby. I don't want to break into any of the dangerous ones immediately, so I think we want to kind of head up this direction and see what I can do. I'm going to paint this, and we want to do camps, woodcutter's camp. I don't actually know if there's really much of a difference there. So what other camps do we start with? Stonecutter, harvester, plant fiber and reed, foragers, grain roots, herbs, and trapper camp. Oh. That's new, I think. I don't remember starting with this many camps. So this is Flaxfield. It's a harvest. We need a harvester's camp to get this one. We might as well. We might as well pop it open. All right, there we go. No, it actually does look like we've just got eight beavers and three lizards. So we're kind of limited on our populace here. And of course, the only shelter I have is the human house. 
One can accommodate any villager, won't satisfy the need for species-specific housing. Has to be built near a hearth, house three, versus four. I'm gonna pause for a hot second. What do we need for the lumber mill? Oh, that's a problem. We don't have those resources. Uh, let's see. I mean, it looks like it's just planks and some other stuff, so I guess I'll start with that. And work my way up. This has come a long way. I'm actually really impressed. Okay, so we want to start with a bunch of beavers in that. Lizard's there. If I remember right. Good with the animals and meat production. You almost never actually do meat production in this game. I probably should. We're still waiting on wood. So how many of my people are employed? I've got three left. But as soon as we have the resources to actually build this thing, then they'll be good. I want to take a look. So, I see. So we can make planks, fabric, bricks, and pipes. And then we have the harvester's camp. Okay, so we've got some stuff. Choose an order. Objective. Three packs of building materials gets us extra plank production, some bricks, and some simple tools. Versus... Uh, six lizards gets us the trapper's camp. I thought I... Don't I... I already have that. Tanning racks and this. So I think we want to go for the big delivery. The only immediate problem is I have to figure out... Makeshift... Yeah, we just got to get a makeshift post. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's see. So shovels... Villagers move faster on roads. That's tempting. These are a little bit more expensive. They do give me amber. And grain. But I'm going to go with that because it's a low-hanging fruit and we're almost done. Uh, let's see. Three packs of crops. Increases my packs of crop production and planting crops is faster. So even though this one would be much easier, I'm going to go with that one. I just actually have to make the packs of crops, which could cause issues. So what else do we have? Newcomers come faster or leather production and leather yields. I'm going to go with uh, newcomers. We might run into some food issues with that, but... I don't know what else I'm going to do. Okay, so... I'm going to nix these two dudes. We're just going to move beavers to them. I want my lizards to work indoors because it makes them happier. Oh, that's not indoors. It's this thing. The crude workstation is the work indoors. But yeah, previously I actually had to unlock all the small trapper camps and whatnot. Okay, so this is where I want to put the lizards. Yeah. Oh. oh, what a fool I am. Oh, it's fine. Okay, there we go. So what can I swap these for? We pretty much don't have any of those. We are going to have enough wood, and we're going to need the bricks. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to make pipes. Bricks can also use stone. I don't actually know which is better, so we're just going to leave it on clay for the time being. Okay, so other quick things to check. Sheltered. And then there's beaver housing. Okay, so we do actually want housing housing. I might want to prioritize the planks, though. What is this? Production priority. Okay, so I want to prioritize the lumber. Okay. Because if I can actually... If I can actually just skip to a big shelter instead, holds six residents. Oh, so it's actually not that much better. It's better, but it's not amazing. Okay, and I'm going to set that one to the highest priority. This is good, and we've almost got a glade. I'm just going to kind of extend some random paths here. 
Because if we can get those done. We should be able to get that objective and maybe unlock a new tech. No new perks, but that's fine. how much I love the music on this game. Yeah, I, I doubt we're actually going to get our morale too, too high here, unfortunately. Let's see, what difficulty did Wander go for? Pretty low. I'm, um... Okay, hey, we got fertile soil. That's sick. Uh, let's see, go here. Plantation. Or not? I think the, uh, the pop-up's in the way. There's a little bit more. Okay, so let's clear that out. Kind of clear this immediate area. Okay, we also have one of these. So this requires some vegetables. And can you either give me some new people including a harpy and a beaver. Or we just send it to the citadel. I think I'm gonna keep sending things to the citadels. Send an eggs, sign worker. There we go. There's more I could do with that, but later. Okay, I think we have two more paths on the way. Perfect. I'm only on the second. I struggle a bit to go to veteran. Honestly, I, I'm i probably not going to mess around with higher difficulties until I actually get to the point where I'm, um... Maybe I should have actually kept the survivors. Eh, but the amber. The amber is going to come in handy. Wait, blight post? Fighting blight rot. Oh. That's a new one. Hydrants for putting out fires. Small hearth and a trading post. Because it doesn't really matter which direction that's placed. But yeah, until I have more meta progression, I don't think I'm going to go up in difficulty. Uh, I'm more here to just kind of get the settlement builder vibe and then stop after about an hour, hour and a half and no more. Blight Rod is veteran. Okay, cool. Do you get more resources on a higher difficulty or is it mostly just for bragging rights? Okay, you do get more resources. Yeah, all right. I'll consider it at some point. Definitely not right now. I remember having a number of rounds where I just got absolutely clobbered. And I don't I don't play this game often enough that I can comfortably say that I'd be fine. If I take a look at building materials. Okay, so once this guy is done with the camp, Then we can actually get the shelters done. Which is good, because things are about to go kind of rough. At least morale isn't too stinky, but it's gonna get worse. So town on basic gives 12 bread. Next difficulty is 30 or 40. Ah, yeah, so maybe in an upgrade or two I'll actually want to switch it around. Okay, so sheltering my dudes actually helps a lot. Morale's gone up. Yes. These guys are almost done. Yeah, he doesn't have anything else to do. I'm just gonna leave that. I don't like building to destroy. So that'll just give me all my resources back. Yes. I guess I could have moved it over here, but I don't think I need it at the moment. Okay. I'm actually going to have these guys start to work. So, forest recedes. 
As heavily guarded trade caravans pour into the settlement, hostility is reduced by 15 points every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. Or every two newly completed dangerous and forbidden glade events lowers hostility by 50%. I might want to do... Ooh, protected trade sounds probably easier to pull off. And we get some newcomers. I'm probably going to stick with my lizards and my my beavers just so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to keep calling them dwarves because that's... I mean, beavers really are river dwarves. There's... There's no way around it. I'm with you on the limited time, though. I usually only do one or two settlements a day, and then I'm done playing. It's a good feeling, though. Like, I've played a lot of settlement builders over the last year, and most of them are painfully boring. Uh, let's see. Like... They're not bad in any way, shape, or form, but compared to this, which you get in, you build quick, you set up fast, you get some randomly generated perks to kind of make you consider what you're doing, so this time around I've got like the berry farms and some other stuff. Alright, so we got this guy. We could also rob him, but I don't want to do that. He mostly has food, which is not great, but I might be able to sell stuff to him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell anything from this set. I can sell him my amber. Oh, wait, no. He does actually sell perks. Extra storage capacity. Traders arrive faster or a small farm. Hmm. That might be worth it. The question is, what do I sell off? I've got the plant fiber. Can I... Oh, I see. Oh, he doesn't like it. Rude dude. Okay, so I don't want to give up too much. I can give up some planks? Or my resin? Okay, there we go. So, I'll take his 15 resin. Do we want to grab the small farm? I could go for traders arrive faster, but I don't know if that's going to help too much. And orderly storage is kind of tempting, but I think I'm going to grab the small farm. I think that might... Oh, did that not count? Oh, that's... That's that. This is hostility. Oh, right. Queen's impatience is a problem. Okay, newcomers. Oh, we can deliver that one. So that gets us faster on roads and 10 stone. And this, which gets us a new tech. Smelter, Rain Mill, Clothier, and Forest Camp. Coats, Water Skin, Scrolls. Copper Bars, Flower, Scrolls. Or Forges Camp, an Advanced Camp that gets these things more efficiently. Rain Mill can produce packs of building materials, but not any better than the regular one. So I don't know if that's really that helpful. Oh, and it shows you my current best. I see. So, currently I can c create scrolls, but it's one star. But this will let me get coats and water skins. Uh, smelter. Wouldn't help me too much. So, the real question is, do I want... The rain mill. Now, I think I want the clothier. Because that unlocks me two, two things that I can actually use. Okay. Are we making fabric? We are not. I need leather, plant fiber. Unfortunately, I don't know. I might be out of plant fiber. Because I think I just sold it all off. Oops. It's fine. Mine makeshift post. I think I have to make one of these. So I'll just prep one real quick. Ah, uh, the advanced can also do the higher tier resources. Gotcha. But we're going to have an infinite source of fiber. So, this is three glades or 50 paths. I might as well do the three glades. This is a better reward and isn't going to take too long. So, 30 jerky. Uh, no, 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 no. Production yields for all packs of goods. 
produce them faster. The only problem is practice of provisions and trade goods are rough. Whereas the jerky one is a little easier, I just don't have a whole lot of egg. I think I can do these. Uh, let's see. Were the thumbnails for Slay the Spire changed at any point? I was taking stock and tried to remember when I first found you. I think it was bullshit not when the dead branch and corruption. Found it when I was on the old-timey elevator. Well, job. Can't find it. And I remember the thumbnails being different. I don't think I ever changed the thumbnail, but the, um... I think the episode number is either 18 or 23. So if you want to find it again, it's that one. Okay, these capped out? Yeah. Maybe that barrel upgrade would have actually been better. Oh well. Call immediately, but I think that would be a problem. Okay, did we get the makeshift post done? We did. So I'm gonna put two lizards in here. Because we don't... Uh, do I want to do packs of crops? They require roots, grain, vegetables, or mushrooms. Packs of provisions... Can be berries. Oh, and you can actually turn them on and off. I don't think I want them to touch my eggs. And packs of building materials can be that. So what are my objectives? Ten trade goods. Ten provisions. I think I'm going to turn off the provisions for now. I mean, no, 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 no. We're going to get herbs and vegetables, so this shouldn't be too hard. We are going to need that farm farm down, though. Otherwise, we are going to run into some food issues eventually. You have that off the top of your head. There's a reason you're the professional. I remember some of them, especially because those are the ones that get, um... Yeah, it was 23. Uh, those are the ones that still get comments nowadays. Like, people will still go back and react to them. And so it's a little easier for me to recall. Okay, so first and foremost, I think we do need another woodcutter's camp. This is going too slowly. And so snagging another one of them should let me do some stuff. We also got the berries, and we have, uh... Let's see. Berries and plant fiber. Yeah, so I can do some stuff with that. Because I want to just get into all of these glades if I can. I would love a meta progression that just makes chopping stuff faster. <laughs> oh, it would make my life wicked easy. Wow, packs of building materials takes a long time. Okay, I'm just going to turn one of these guys off. Put them on something else. Because I think we need more of these dudes for the time being. Snag those. From what I've seen of Wander playing games, Bullshit Mountain is not specific enough. Yeah, that was, that was just the first time I coined that term and was the one that, uh... I mean, embodied it pretty well at, back in the day. But yeah, I've had a lot of other pretty wild runs. One of my problems is most of these guys are just uh, transferring stuff. I think I should have gone for that barrel upgrade. Oops. And yeah, hostility is a little rough. Well, we got two packs of crops and two packs of building materials at the very least. Unfortunately, we don't have any roots, grain, veggies, or mushrooms. So I'm going to be kind of out of luck there. Okay. One other thing we're probably going to want is this. Because I think not all of my people... Yeah. A couple of them are unhoused.
Okay, so which one of these gives me the most stuff? That gets me pottery. I don't want that. Let's go with those people. Unfortunately, my uh, harpies. Ugh. Poorly timed. Okay, so what do we have? We have a berry bush. And more egg. Why are these sparkly? I'm not sure. Maybe they're fertilizing it or something? Certainly got super sparkly really fast. Okay, so we have her. She's useful. We could attack her, but why would I ever do that? Heavy millstone, extra clay production, extra coat production. That could be kind of good. Problem is I have nothing. Or at least I don't have anything that's particularly good. But I'm going to pause for a second. Uh, pigment for every insect produced or... Villagers, oh, with leisure. Fulfills. No. I'm gonna just go for the dye extractor. That's at least something I can sell. So I can deliver this. I guess it's another crown. So we can get a weaver for more fabric, training gear, packs of trade goods, water skins. I guess I can actually check. So this will improve my fabric production and give me training gear. This would give me coal production and jerky production, which uh, we don't have. This would give me barrels, training gear, and cosmetics. That's tough. Because if I go down this direction, a cooperage would let me get a bar. Eventually. But we might actually want to do fabrics this time around. Yeah, because what else... What what can I make? Lumber mill. And a clothier. And we just got a coats production thing. So, yeah, let's... Let's get the weaver. I think. Because I think it'll be the same for trade goods. Yeah, let's go Weaver. I don't think I can actually build it. At least not currently. Soon. Rotate it, put it there. Unfortunately, I'm going to need way more planks. I should have plenty of wood for that, though, I think. Crafting resources. Yeah, I've got tons of wood. The thing we might want to consider is another warehouse. This area out here is a uh, bit of a walk. And having my uh, farmers not have to walk nearly as far seems like a really good idea. I'm curious how to get the rest of these, but it's fine. The only other thing I'd want to consider is maybe buying some roots. But I think if I just keep looking, we'll find more. There we go. Hubs and hearth levels. I should probably look at those. Hearth has its own range. Yeah, so I might actually have to worry about that if I extend too much. I'll probably just keep central. We've got a lot of glades to potentially punch. I think I still kind of want to work my way into the, some of the lesser, lesser ones. Maybe? I don't know, actually. Okay, so let's go back into this. Because we no lo longer need to make packs of building materials. Now we just need packs of crops, provisions, and trade goods. Oh, they're still going. Oh, hey. Speaking of trade goods. Pottery. Oh, the barrels would have been nice. But we can actually put water skins into this. I'll have to figure out how to get some more leather. Okay, so, objectives. Uh, trade goods and amber. 
That means some newcomers, some parts, and traders arrive faster. Or 35 roots. I think I'm just going to go for the 35 roots, get a bunch of beavers. Okay, what is this? Lizards resolve above... Nah, let's go clothing. Wow, look at this actually. Tanning racks, a lot of fabric, and even more sewing techniques. Let's get the beavers. Oh, two rain collectors and 25 dizzle water. Maybe. Otherwise, we can do steel pen knives. Beavers resolve above 22 for 60 seconds. I think I'm going to go for that. This is probably easier, but less useful. Unfortunately, I don't know. My beaver resolve is not terrible. I really got to unlock the beaver house, though. All right, so what do we have here? We can keep the goods. Or send it. No, we're keeping this. Do I? I, I have just enough. We also have these guys. New marrow deposits gets us these. Oh, it's a fuel. Got it. All right. So I'm going to punch my way into this. Hopefully I'll be able to get the resources that I need. And the other, the other big benefit is we have some more farmland. So I can kind of push my way this direction. Right. I have to actually assign somebody to this. I'm just going to send him off. Okay, and we have our weaver. Because if I can get some of these perks... Oh, old Farloof, what do you got? So he's got more kind of tooly things, which is actually really good. The problem is simple tools are really expensive. And I... St oh, wait... Where the heck did I get all these packs of... Uh-oh. I'm gonna close that for a second. Okay. Where did I make all of these packs of provisions? I think I used up a lot of berries to make it, which actually is fine. It's fine. We just need more trade goods. And one more pack of crops. So he has... He might also have perks that I want. Rain mill. Nah. Caches and glades can now be salvaged. Copper ore and wood. And then more more of that. So I actually have one of these and five that I can offload. And then can't do anything with the packs of crops because that would screw me over. So what do we have here that I could potentially work with? Um, I might actually just take three amber. Right, of course. None of these guys do face value accounting. I'll just do that for now. Just offload some old, old resources that I don't need. Let's see, provisions under the trade goods in priority. Do what? She's actually making training gear. Uh, should I let her do that? I'm actually going to turn that off. Uh, we'll make one set. It'll be useful for things. But I think that'll be the last of them. So when we get a small farm. And a farm field. Because if I can have this complete, we'll be in a reasonably good position. Right, some more beavers. Oh, we've got this. So, we have a couple of things to check out. One of these looks spooky. So, Harmony Spirit Altar. Ancient language carved into it. Light a fire at the altar to gain the blessing of the Spirit of Harmony. So, working effects... So resolve drops slower. So it requires 10 goods. 
and I can either get... I can salvage it for a lot of resources, or I can convert it into a Harmony Shelter. I think I want to convert it. Yeah, currently is reducing global resolve. Luckily, resin counts as a good. I could salvage it for a lot of things, but I think I'll be fine without. All right. Yeah, he should be able to complete it pretty quick. And thank you, why me, for the seven months resub. Thank you. All right, hopefully that won't take too long. So we also have these things. An alchemist hut and we have some goods. Unfortunately, I don't have... I don't have any of these things. Boy, those reinforced needles could be really good. But yeah, I, I just don't have the resources to fix that one up. This one, this one's a little bit more doable. So do I want to rebuild this? Crystallized Dew, Cosmetics, and Wine. Versus Crystallized Dew and Herbs. Nah, let's rebuild it. Oh, but I don't have any workers for that. I'm going to work on this first because everything's going to get bad otherwise. Uh, let's see. Fabric, leather. Okay. Three barrels every ten planks produced. There. So now we don't need uh, coopers. So now we can actually make mo wine. We don't have a tavern at the moment. Okay, they'll make vegetables and grain. I don't think we actually have much of a benefit for grain. Or do we? Because all that extra grain can be turned into backs of crops. Okay, benefits. Oh, and we can complete that. So now we have a new thing. Forger camp, trapper camp. Herbalist camp or apothecary. I don't think I really want any of the camps at the moment. They'd be nice, but I don't know if they benefit me much. Yeah, let's go for the apothecary. Even if I don't have enough people to actually manage it. Is this done? No. But I've got another lizard that I can chuck into it before everything continues to be kind of bad. Also, housing-wise, we need at least one more of these. I like it how I have the human shelter unlocked, and not a single human to jam into it. Oh, can I move this thing? No, I cannot. Dang. And Zorg is now here. Sup? So, ale production... Fiber production. So I need to make some money. Oh, we do actually have some simple tools. I don't know where they came from. Got a lot of food. I'm probably just gonna offload. Okay, trade that. Because I think I want to get rich in fiber. Did that actually reduce the the uh, animosity of the forest, the hostility of the forest? There we go. I don't think it did. I might actually have to buy goods to do it, which is a little suck, but whatever. Uh, you know what? Shall we actually chuck some of these guys into rebuilding this? Is this done? Passive effect, yes. Needs are met. Harmony is restored. Each unique service adds two to global resolve. Added retroactively. Nice. But I think we need a lot more stuff. Well, speaking of, though, what can we do? So, probably the clothier next. Considering we should be able to... Uh, have tons of fabric here. I wonder if I can move the alchemist hut once it's properly rebuilt. We should also get the uh, lumber mill. 
Okay, coats, water skins, oil, and meat? I think we're out of meat, though, which is unfortunate. But at least... Is that one fabric for ten clothes? Oh. I think I, uh... I think I broke that in my favor. <laughs> I am not going to complain. Okay, so we got the crude workstation. Did I... I do have the lumber mill. Did I ever build it? I don't think I did. Because, yeah, if I can get the lumber mill, we can turn off uh, planks. Okay, packs of trade goods. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna put in barrels. We're currently not using them. And I get them for free every bit of lumber I make. I'm gonna go back, take a look at this. So we don't want to be making fabric here either. I'm actually gonna just take these guys off. I don't even know if we need bricks. How much clay do we still have? We've got a lot. So why don't we have this guy just pump it up bricks? No limit. I don't think we're using the clay for anything. Okay, packs of crops. Should be good. Might have to do some other things. So we've got two more orders. Paths and packs of crops. Or trade goods and building materials. I mean, the paths are easy. The packs of crops are easy? 16 beavers, which actually should be really easy. Pickle jars, beaver clan support. That's absurdly good. These are good too, but hard to pull off. This is really easy, as I have 13 beavers, so we only need one more set. I just have to attract enough beavers. Okay, small trapper camp is now done. Can I move this? Yes. Go grab the remaining egg. Okay, where are my where are my lumber camps? This is a lumber camp. Move that one there. I want to put my next woodcutter camp. I'm gonna put it here because we might as well actually punch our way into this one. These glades are huge and give me a lot of space to build. Okay, anything else? Because I don't think I can pop this open yet. I'm actually really close. I only need one more simple tool. Or two more simple tools. And I can't move this sucker, which is unfortunate. But I also don't really benefit too much. Like, we could make wine, but I don't think we have a place to actually use them. Yeah. Oh, we can use resin for cosmetics. Useful. I guess I could make crystallized dew. A lot of these would be good for selling. I guess is the easiest answer. Yeah, the big issue is going to be packs of crops. But we do have vegetables now and I've got plenty of food. Okay, do we have anybody else that is unhoused? Not currently. I think I'm going to wait until the end of the season. No, 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 no. We can take some newcomers. I just need... I need three beeves. You are not three beeves. Whatever. Okay, other thing we should do is... Food, food production, cookhouse. Since, you know, that would actually help a lot. Because I have plenty of raw food that I'm just not really utilizing here. Okay, so we got skewers, which can use whatever we want. Biscuits, which require flour, so that's not super doable. And then pigments. 
don't actually, I don't think we want to make pigments here. I gotta find a source of meat. Or flour. I have neither. Okay, so what's our perk? Five pig pigments for every 10 insects or extra production yields for packed goods. Packs of trade goods. Where are the barrels? Yeah, because we pretty much just need a silly amount of barrels. Oh, hello. This is open. So we can get more people or some money. I'm going to go for the money. Okay. Ooh, this is a new one. Sothor the Ancient. So, Builder can carry... 10 extra items is nice. Oh, the only issue is I can only sell goods. We have wildfire essence. Uh, maybe? Yeah, trying to decide if any of this is worth it. I don't think so. I don't think any of these are particularly amazing. I could sell stuff, but that's it. Please tell me you're actually making the packs of crops. Yes. I think we just got five. Heck yeah. So now we just need the packs of trade goods. We just got our need for clothing fulfilled. Beaver's resolve has to go up and we need even more packs of trade goods and one more beaver. Right. Do we need more? Yeah, we need to save up those packs of crops. I think I'm just going to not worry about any of those. And the queen is no longer super pissed at me. And we get some stuff. So, uh, let's see. Press for oil, flower planks, barrels, training gear. It's not really what I was hoping for. Oh. Smithy, though, can make better packs of trade goods. Which we need. We don't need luxury goods. So I guess I'm going to go for the smithy because everything else is not that helpful. We can even make simple tools. Ooh, yes. What's the other one? Lizard house. Oh, nope. We want the rain mill. Because it can make flour, which means I can make biscuits. Lizard houses would be nice. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so that's the smithy, right? That's the smithy. And then we want the rain mill, which is much smaller. What are the other paths that we have? Paved road, and then the reinforced road. I could do that, but it would cost me, like, all of my stone. How much does it improve? It's like a 10% movement speed bonus. It's good. Okay, so we want to make flour. Flour requires grain. We don't, apparently don't have that much grain. I'm going to turn off the packs of building materials. I don't think we need that at the moment. Simple tools, though. Okay, so this thing's functionally useless. That's a shame. Unless I can get my hands on metal in any way, shape, or form. Oh, wait, no, crystallized do. So that, that is doable. What else do we have? I guess I'll put a rain collector across the street from it. You guys almost done? Yeah. I see. We're just removing the grain from it. This is almost in. Is this the other woodcutter camp? Yeah. I'm gonna just put both of them here. Cause let's take a look at this. What are you? Fishman cave. So working effect, trying to enter a fishman cave triggers hidden traps. Tot totem spawns every 60 seconds. A little spooky. Spawns three totems in patient points. Well, takes goods. 
do I send it to the Citadel for points or do I go for a basket of in insects, goods, and leather? I don't think we need the leather for much. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to send in my lizards. I don't know what the downside of this is going to be. We also have a provisioner. Flower barrels, some other stuff. Eh. Okay, Fishman Totem appeared nearby. What does this thing do? Threats. 20 hostility. There's our answer. Okay, so that just makes everything slightly worse. Well, it's being worked on, but that's not going to stop me. Okay, water type. Clearance water. Oh, it depends on the season. Do I have herbs? We got resin. So we can actually make some crystallized dew if we want to. I guess I'm not going to do anything with it yet because I have nothing. Okay. I'm just going to stick my bonus lizards up here. Yeah, do I want to harvest this? Fiber in the packs of provisions. I don't think I want a provisioner. It does make barrels, but yeah, I don't think I care for this too much. I'm going to have him do that. Uh, let's see, so what do we have? Beavers with grain? Yeah. Okay. Got one more in a second. Last fisherman totem is here. Don't care. All right, cool. That's going to give me water that I can use to make crystallized dew at some point. Is this almost done? It's done. We're just removing the other stuff. Lizard. Uh oh. Maybe I should have gone for the Lizardman house. Oh, you know what I can do? I think we can sacrifice some stuff, can't we? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna sacrifice some wood for a little while because that hostility is a problem. So is that forty wood per minute? Stacks three times. Okay, so we might run into some wood supply issues by doing this, but we only have to get through this season. Uh, let's see, where's the next set of clearings that we can bust into? This is going to take a little while. But it's probably worth it. Okay, so what's our next set of orders? Oh. Uh. Education. We don't need no education. Not where we're going. Paved roads or three glades and one dangerous event. Well, that's easier. And we can deliver this, which gets me more bonuses. Most of which aren't particularly doable for me, but some are. Actually, a number of these are almost done. So let's take a look. If we get a lizard hat, uh, lizard camp, cool. If we don't, we don't. Pottery tavern. I think we want the tavern. I think we can make wine. 
Oh, take off one woodcutter and you're good. Oh, good to know. What's my wood supply doing? So bad. Let's lower it. Twice. Perfect. Okay, resolve is actually doing pretty good. What is this stuff? Clay deposits. Kind of useful. So other things we might want to take a look at. Keep these goods, send them off. Now let's send things to the Citadel. Do I want though? Because there was this set which had great perks. Yeah, it's better. What else do we have? Two uh, newly completed dangerous and forbidden glade events lowers hostility by 50%. Yeah, let's go for that. Also, grain or plant fiber. I don't actually know which is more useful for me. What's our limitation? Trade goods and crops, but I think we have plenty. So I think I might actually just do another one of these. Okay, he has got maybe useful things. I have a lot of money now. So, wood cutting is faster. That's good. Lowers hostility by 50%. It's good. And then we've got some simple tools. I only need two. But I could go up to 12. Okay, rip my money. But it's probably worth it. What else do I have to, that I can sell? Because I pretty much need all these packs of crops. I guess what little resin I have. We'll get more from this. Okay, so that gives us enough that we can pop both of these open. Because this is, this is way too good for me to just disregard. Whereas this I don't care about as much. We might as well pop both of them open. Okay, what was this? This is the cookhouse. The problem is we really don't have anything to make skewers. We did get the tech. Did we not? Oh, wait, no. We have the smithy. Oh, that's the woodcutter camp. Rain mill. Are we actually making flour now? I think we can make flour. Oh, but nobody works here. So now we can make flour, which means I should be able to make biscuits. Oh, Trapper's Camp has no deposits nearby. Oh, do we have anything? What is this harvested by? Stonecutter Camp. Oh, there's the roots that I need. I don't actually know if we need the uh, Trapper Camp anymore. I mean, it might pop up, but I think at this point we salvage it and harvest these roots. There's also more farming up here. Okay, roots. I guess I'm going to set that up, even if it's only a little bit. Still helpful. Okay, got this. We've got two people. So they'll take that. I don't think we need more farming at the moment. Let's set that. Farm up. Okay, how's this doing? It actually looks like they're about to bump into it. There it is. What is this thing? Leaking cauldron. Food production is lowered. Um, 
It doesn't look like there's anything I need to specifically do. I just need to go at it. So food stockpiles could get mushrooms and pottery. But I think I'm just going to send to the Citadel. What is this? Explorer's Lodge. Ooh. Some of these are good, but I don't think I have the resources for it. Now, Resolve is getting impacted because Le Leaky Cauldron is just going banabras. Okay. Anything else? No. My people are upset, but this thing will be done shortly. Here, let's, uh, let's counteract. So this guy ain't gonna last. Bleeding Tooth Mushroom. Now, do these have an upper... Oh, no, 71 charges. I see. They just have to get the rest of the stuff. And we also have Sothor the Ancients. Uh, builder can carry additional items. That's actually pretty good. Let's do it. Oh, I also have these that I can just turn in. Whoops. Okay, so now we just need packs of building materials and packs of crops. And then three more glades. And then other thing... Oh, we are about to win. Temple. Let's get a temple. I don't even know if it's that useful. Passive effect, guild house, guild's welfare. I could try and go for the lizard houses. Uh, I don't know what the threshold on lizards being happy. I'm going to go for the guild house anyway. Because we're reasonably close to a win. not done? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was curious. It's like, how... It has nothing left. Is this just a permanent horror? A stain upon my setup here? Okay, before he goes away, does this guy sell anything particularly amazing otherwise? I have a lot of amber. Building materials and... So I could actually sell the trade goods. And the cosmetics. I don't think I'd benefit from those. I don't know what I'd buy here in trade. So why don't we pull the uh, cosmetics back? Just in case I need them for something. Um, oops, I don't want ale. Rude. Produce in the Holy Temple. I guess I'll give him some cosmetics. There we go. I'll take that money. Let's build... Let's build a temple. Oh, it's a... That's a big boy. You just put it up here? Oh, no, nope, that's in the way. I guess I'll put it here. Okay, and then things are looking worse. Let's get that temple down. We'll see what happens. What are we doing on wood? Oh, I'm doing great on wood. Okay, don't think I have incense or anything. However, I have a lot of unemployed dwarves. So, good sacrifice, burn longer. Effect does not stack, but that's fine. Let's grab the guild house, put it down. I don't know what either of these do. And I'm super curious. I thought this thing used wine for stuff, but I guess not. Oh, guild house uses wine. Okay. So, what does this do? Uh, merchants come faster, and... Stack of the wealth, wealth effects, plus one global resolve every time you sell goods worth 60 amber. Oops. 
Wow, that's a really good that's a really good perk. And it looks like my harpies are so happy we're actually getting uh some big bonuses here. Well, in that case. Let's just do that. See if I can really push the happiness. Cause I only need to get a smidge more reputation if both my beavers and my harpies are happy. We should be able to hit this in like actual seconds. Hell yeah. This game is freaking fun, man. Like, I, I, I always feel weird about saying that in regards to like settlement builders, but it really is. All right, so let's take a look at what we've just achieved. Uh, so deed-wise, we've got 10 glades, woodlands, 10 orders, win a game with the something, and we get walls, comfort. Huh, decoration are used to level up hearts. Oh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, trade goods are worth more. Oh, sold trade goods worth that much. So then we have a bunch more things. Small unlocks, maybe major unlocks. Let's take a look at upgrades. So I only have so much food. I I could maybe bu bump up the difficulty. Let's see, permanent fuel duration, or bonus chance of getting production yields. And I can start with extra newcomers if I want to. Uh, let's see. Reduce queen's impatience. Villager speed up upgrade. Where's the human housing. Where did I snag that? Because I I feel like I unlocked something that I wasn't supposed to a long time ago and it's just given it to me. No, never mind. Wow. You really have to work your way up. Yeah, so the question is, do I want to snag additional option to choose from when picking cornerstones at the beginning of every year? Oh. So, chance of getting production yields or burn bonus. Well, what does this give me? Starting vegetables and meats versus burning cornerstone reroll charge per settlement. Right, I'm just going to go for that. Yeah, I think we might actually have to bump the difficulty. Well, do we? 